Hey everyone, it's Carrie from Lois. We are going to do a full body um, workout. There's going to be um, six moves that alternate between um, lower body and upper body, and we also finish up with a core move. Um, we're gonna be doing 10 reps of each, two sets through, and at the end of each 10 reps, we're gonna do a 10 second hold. So there's some isometric work in there, and then we're going to have a um, low impact cardio hit finisher. So happy May, let's get to it. So we're gonna start with a warm up. so let's just do a flat back down and round. Again, flatten and round one more time and round. Now let's just do some squats for four, three, two, hold it here and let's extend and bend, three and bend two and one flat back round it up roll the shoulders let's rotate to the right for four three two let's hold it here bring the arms down push down through that heel and then lift here's three two and one we're gonna inhale, lift off the back heel, bring the hip forward, tuck it under and sink. Push the palms forward, chin drops in. And shifting the weight, four, three, two, and one. Point the toes away, flatten out the back, bring the toes to me and rounding. Rolling the shoulders, let's finish that up, rotate left. Four, three, two, we're gonna hold it here. We're gonna push down through that back heel and lift. And three, two, and one. Now we're gonna inhale, lift off the back heel, tuck the hips under, sink, and breathe the arms behind, opening through the chest and shifting the weight. And four, three, two, and one, hold it here, point the toes away, bend the knees and rounding. All right, so hopefully you feel a little bit warmer. So I have, um, I'm using a step, this is actually a mini step, um, but we're only gonna use that for two of the moves. So, and I'll show you a way that you can um, do the same moves without the step. There's a modification. So I am going to grab one weight and I'm going to place my right toes on the step so if you don't have a step, we're gonna do a split squat. So we're gonna be hinged forward. So we're gonna come down and up. Now, if you have a step, your, your foot is elevated. Maybe your coffee table will work. If you don't have either where you're working out, you can come down and then you can lift up. So you can lift that back leg and add a little bit more to it. It's also fine um, just to do the split squat um, as is without that leg lift, without that foot elevation. So usually in a, in a lunge, we're upright, we're gonna hinge forward, and we're going to bring that weight down, and then lift, pushing through the heel the whole time, make sure the knees stand be, uh, stay behind the toes. In four, three, two, down to the two count, down two, and up, there's one. You can do whatever you want with this other arm, two. Three, abs are nice and tight. Four, five, five, four, three, two, one more down and up. And now drop down for a 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, you're feeling wobbly. Four, three, two, and one, come up, do it again, down two, down two. Oh yeah, left glutes waking up. Here's two, three, four. All the focus into that left heel, five. Here's your countdown, come on, we've got this. Five, four, three, Two, one more down and up. Down two, up two, now drop in. 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, breathe through the burn, four, three, two, and one, yes. All right, if you want, so place the weight down if you wanna stretch that out and do balancing pigeon, open up that hip. Well, what we do to one side, you gotta do to the other. You don't want one side looking better. All right, so again, if you have the step, coffee table, whatever works, you're here, so now your left foot is on the bench, abs are tight, again, we're not upright, we're hinged forward a little, so think of a straight line from the back of the head to the tailbone. In four, three, two, down to the two count, down two, and lift. Again, pushing into that front heel, down, and lift. Here's three, four, five, halfway there the first, through the first set. Here's five, four, three, two, one more, down and up. Don't cheat it. Down and lift. Now drop in for your first 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up, now down for two, come on. Down two. Aren't you glad we're only doing two sets? And lift, down, and lift. Again, down. Are those abs tight? And lift. Here's four, and lift. Five, you're almost there. Come on, get it. Five, four, three, two, one more down and up, come on. Now drop in for that 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, stay with me, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hey, those are done. All right, again, release the weight. All right, so you're gonna give your lower body a little bit of a rest, and we're gonna go to an upper body move. So I'm gonna grab the same weight. I have 15s, um, but I'm also gonna use probably eights for the fourth move. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be here, we're hinged forward, so our weight's in our left hand because we just had it, or in our right hand because we just had it in our left hand, mirror image. All right, so we're here, and we're just gonna come up to and down to 10 second hold. Four, three, two, abs are nice and tight, lift two, and lower. Now, if you do have the bench, if you want, you can place one knee on the bench and just focus on contracting right behind that shoulder blade. Here's four, five, six, seven, keep those abs tight, eight, nine, one more up and down. We know the pattern now. Now up for a 10 second hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, up two, down two, lift. Let's burn out this side and then we'll go to the other side. There's one, two, three, four, five, here's five, four, three, two, one more down and up. Are those abs tight? Up and hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's release that weight, bend at the knees. Come to a flat back, let's drop that shoulder in. Come to the center. 
and back to the center, round it up. You can also push the palms forward and release. All right, why delay the inevitable? Let's get the other side done. So now the weight's in your left hand. Again, if you want to use your bench and just really focus on the upper body, you can do that. Or you can also just bend the knees and sink in abs tight. Four, three, two, let's get it done. Up for two, lift. There's one. Two, three, four, five, halfway there, five, four, three, two, one more down and up, lift two. Lower two, now row up for a 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Now up for two, come on. 10, and lower. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, hopefully this side's feeling like the other side now. One more up and down. Now up for a 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Release that flat back. Let's drop that shoulder in and switch sides and come back to the center and round. Rolling the shoulders again, palms forward and release. Okay, so now we're back to lower body. So I'm going to grab both weights this time. So grab your match. We're gonna do some sumo squats. So, let me move these weights out of the way. You always wanna be safe when you're working out. All right, so legs are wide, toes to the corners. I'm gonna put my weights right on my hips. You can also be here, you can also be up here. It's really just a matter of preference. Four, three, two, same pattern, down for two. Down, and lift. Abs are nice and tight, push through the heels, Squeeze the inner thighs and glutes on the way up. There's two, three, four, five. Here's five, four, three, Two, you know the drill, all the way down, all the way up. Now drop in, 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release, do it again, do it again. Down two, down two, and lift. Here's nine, and lift, we've got this, eight, Squeeze, seven, keep those abs super tight, six, five, four, three, two, one more, full range, come on, down two, up two, now let's get that 10 second hold done. Drop in, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, it burns, four, three, two, and one, yes. Whew, all right. So I'm gonna let my 15s hang out there for a second, and I'm gonna grab some eights. Now again, always pick the weight that works for you and whatever you have available. 
We've been very creative with our workouts here, our home workouts from Lois. We've used the water jugs and the water bottles, towels, anything. So what we're gonna do, focus is back on the upper body. We're gonna do side lateral raises. So I'm gonna do long lever. However, you can also bend the elbows. You can alternate, make it work. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. 10, nine, eight. You can also kickstand your legs if you want. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more up and down. Come on, we've got this. Now lift up and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. They're getting heavy. Come on. 10, nine. Remember you can be here though, right? Eight, seven. Do what works. Six, five. I'm rethinking these eights. Four, <laughs> three, two, one more up and down. Now 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whoo! All right, release that down, stretch out the shoulders and anything that feels like it needs it. All right, so we have two more exercises with that pattern before we do our low impact um, cardio hip finisher. So our next exercise, we're gonna bring lower body in and then our final exercise, we'll do some ab crunch backs. So I'm gonna grab that 15 again and I'm using my step for this, whatever works, and you're gonna come down and up. Now, if you don't have a bench and you, and you can do it with or without the weight, you can do a pistol squat. So you can come down and up. So pistol squat from the side, you have one foot lifted, you come down, and you can even tap in between if you'd like. All right, let's get it done. So I have one foot on, weights right here in four, three, two, then you're gonna come down, and lift. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, are those abs tight? Four, three, two, one, now down, and lift up and hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down and lift. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, all the way up, all the way down. Now a 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, you're feeling wobbly. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, whoo. All right, stretch out anything that feels like it needs it. And also stretch out the hamstrings. It's probably where you're feeling it a little bit more. All right, hey, let's finish up legs before the hit that is. All right, so other leg is on, with or without the weight. In four, three, two, come down first. Down and lift 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, abs tight, three, two, down and up. Now 10 second hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go, come on. 10, nine, eight, seven, push into that heel on the step, six, five, four, three, two, come on, one more down and up, down, up, now 10 second hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, yes, all right, so, if you have yourself, I'm gonna move it out of the way now because we're gonna come down onto the floor and we're gonna do crunch backs and then we want the, the area clear to do your low impact hit. So I'm just gonna move my mini step out of the way as well as my bigger weights because we're just gonna use one weight for this. So we're com coming down onto the floor, crunch backs. So we're gonna hold the weight here. We're gonna come back and up. We have 10 of those. And yep, you guessed it, followed by a 10 second hold two times through. Four, three, two, here we go. Back two and up. There's one, two, make the abs do the work, scoop the belly out. Three, four, Five. So I do have a bend in my knees. Six, do what works. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more, back and forth. And now a 10 second hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come up. One more time through, come on, let's get it done. 10, so I'm digging my heels into the floor. Nine, feel the abs working. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, back and up. Now drop in for your 10 second hold, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, yes. All right. So now we have our hit finisher. So you don't need any weights. Make sure your floor is clear. Hydrate as needed. We are going to do um, five moves total for a count of 20. Why not? We just did 10 reps, 10 second hold, two times through. That gives us 20, not counting those 10 second holds, right? All right, so the first move, we're going to squat and twist squat and rotate. So they're reverse lunge twists side to side. And you want, you want to go at your pace. You don't have to keep my pace, but I will keep, I'll establish a pace for you and you make it work for you. Four, three, two. So I'm going to bring my right leg back first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, come on, ten more, ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Second move. We're going to shuffle down, shuffle down. In four, three, two, I'm going to try to stay on screen. One, two, you can make it as big as you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Yes, heart rate's up. All right, next one, we're gonna start out and we're gonna come down into a sumo jack. Four, three, two, let's get it done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, two more moves. Next one is a lateral squat hop. So we're just gonna hop and hop. Four, three, two, one. That heart rate's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last move. I feel it wouldn't be hit without a few burpees thrown in. So remember with the burpee, you don't have to do um, a it's a low impact anyway, but you don't have to do a full burpee because I know sometimes the down and up can make people dizzy. So option one is kind of like that first move without the rotation. And then option two, down and up. So we're not doing a jack. We are keeping it low impact, staying low. Four, three, are we ready for 20 burpees? Two and one. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, come on, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, come on, get one. One, yeah. All right, let's cool it down. So let's inhale up and exhale. I think that heart rate's up, huh? Inhale and exhale. This time, inhale, lift tall, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, flat back. Let's drop that right shoulder in. Breathing into it, keeping your head lifted. That was a cardio finisher, huh? Come back to the center, other side. Back to the center, round it up. Rolling the shoulders. Let's bring one foot forward, other leg back. Push the palms back. And let's bring the right arm across. And switching sides. And releasing. Now we're going to lift off the back heel. Bring the hip forward. Tuck it under and sink. So you should feel a stretch through the hip flexor and quads. Now push the palms forward. Chin drops in. And releasing, shifting the weight. Front toes lift, sink, sinking low. 
I think we got it done. Point the toes away, flatten out the back, bend both knees and rounding, rolling the shoulders, switching the legs. Again, pushing into that back heel, pushing the palms back. Let's bring the left arm behind, or the right arm behind, my left, your right. And switching. And releasing, we're gonna inhale, lift off the back heel. Exhale, bring the hip forward, tuck it under in sync. Again, feel that hip flexor and quad stretch. Breathe the arms behind. And shifting the weight, front toes lift, sinking low. Point the toes away, flatten out the back, bending both knees, rounding. Rolling the shoulders, nice deep breath up, inhale, lift. And exhaling out, awesome job. All right, so that was your ISO strength, full body um, with the low impact cardio hip finisher. I am going to post a second video right after this. Um, it's going to be a stretch workout, which if you just did this one with me, it's a nice um, extension of this workout, but I know it's also on um, the Lois challenge calendar for tomorrow. So hey, happy May 1st. Have a great day.